Well, welcome to the shop, everyone. On today's video, we're gonna start fabricating the support for the radiator that'll go in front of the engine running stand when it's running. So, this right here, I'm gonna make where it slides up to this point. I might make it adjustable. I also want to make, I don't know, some easy way for this to slide into, maybe bolt down, but problem with bolts is Say you don't use this thing for three years, and then when you go back, the bolts are missing the stuff. So I'd like to fabricate something here that retains the fixtures somehow that, so it's always, you know, this unit here will always be together in one part. Uh, I feel like the uh, fuel pump, fuel tank, all that stuff will be on it. Maybe up here or to the side, I might put the control panel, but we'll see. All right, so I got this part finished. That's gonna actually go on these legs that slide in and out. I kind of went with the same type of way I had gone with the other parts of the, the build over there. And uh, I basically just made those because I had these long bolts and instead of running in the hardware store, I just machined out these to go on there to take up this extra space. But anyways, uh, it should be able to go on and off, so if you slide it off, you can slide it on. And then when you tighten these down, it should grip it well. I made it pretty tight where it's not very loose there. And then these here will go up, and that's what will support the radiator. I'll probably put some gussets going down, maybe a brace across to the other one. But the uh, next thing I want to work on is, so these slide in and out. I made them fairly tight. I couldn't make them any tighter because, you know, the geometry, well not geometry, but anyways, uh, it gets tighter and looser in there. To, it's not a real, real good finish. But anyways, made as tight as I could where it would slide back out. But anyways, to secure it, uh, I want to put, weld two nuts and have the you know, nuts and bolts weld there. And what I want to do is I want to take this piece here and I want to I'm gonna split it use one on one side one on the other side but I'm gonna drill not through it but drill an indention here and an indention there and then I want it to slide in between there and then when I drill a hole here and weld a nut on there and drill a hole there weld a nut on there so the the bolt that screws in as long as it's screwed in a little bit this will slide It'll stay, stay in place because of those indentions I made. But when you clamp down on it, when you really push down on it, it won't mar up this surface 
and I'll have a better clamping force for this. So probably next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split that, probably drill those holes in there, get some nuts and bolts to go on there, weld the nuts on to where we can consider, uh, secure this as it goes in and out to what position we want, then we crank it down and tighten it up. All right, well, that's the idea. Let's see what it turns into. All right, so I got me some nuts and bolts and I machined the end at a taper and it's the same taper as the drill bit that I used to drill these spots in there. And so the idea is that will go in there and retain that plate from falling out when it slides back and forth, but then it gives it a better surface area to clamp up against that slider that I made to go in there. So I have that on there. I'll get my MIG welder out, weld around there. Then we'll put those in there and then see how it works out. All right. All right, so I got the nuts welded onto the frame of the old engine stand. Uh, we're gonna slide it together and see how it works out. So I can slide it back and forth. When you tighten it down, it holds it. And that's, so that's retaining it in there with that you know drill mark I put. And so it should stay like that. And then tighten it down where you want it. Looks good. All right, so we got the frame sliders where they'll slide in and out nicely and Tighten up. I got it tightened up really good right now. That seems very secure. Got both sides done. Got that good. All right, so the front section that's going to go on there, it's going to have the radiator, probably fuel cell, fuel pump, mostly electrical. So why I made this a little different down here is I wanted to be able to clamp a little better because there's going to be a, a lot of things that it supports. And so... I don't have enough, I think it's one and a half by one and a half square tubing, I kind of like to use there. I don't have enough of that, so I'm going to have to use a one inch square tubing, but I'll gusset it up a little bit, strengthen it up. So anyways, that's the next thing to do. Let's see what it turns into. All right, getting the frame kind of sorted out. Got a little brace there that I'm gonna weld onto it. Sort of, that's the part there, it'll slide in and out, hold the radiator. I'll probably do some kind of a cross brace across through here somewhere, strengthen it up a little bit. But anyways, that's where I am right now. Let's continue. All right, so got the radiator support fabricated out. Got all that welded up. Got it pretty well good and straight up and down. I haven't fabricated the part as far as that'll hold the radiator. I will probably make something there. It could you know, move up and down some to adjust for different engines that might go in there at some point. I do want to fabricate something down here to hold the fuel cell in that area. Probably had the fuel pump some stuff, but uh, also I need to think of, you know, like when I'm storing it, you know, maybe I need one side that's going to stay flat to where you can hang it up on a wall. And then if the uh, fuel cell's sticking out, it, it'd be funny. So I need to think a little bit about storing it when it's not being used, like hanging it on a wall. I might want one side completely flat all the way down so it can just 
hang on a wall and not take up any much space. Uh, this part down here worked out really good with that plate. So it clamps down really, really tight. That actually, you know, holds really, really well too. Uh, and you can really put some movement to it. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna end this video off here. I guess the next video will either be doing something with the radiator support or uh, some kind of a setup to hold a fuel cell down here. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like, subscribe if you'd like to, and we hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks so much.